Welcome to a short demonstration of Task Pigeon for marketing teams. Task Pigeon is a task management tool that allows you to create, assign, and manage the tasks that you and your team work on each day. As you'll see through this demonstration, Task Pigeon provides a global overview that allows you to see all of the tasks that members of your team are working on, as well as a My Task dashboard so that you can quickly and easily see the tasks that are relevant to you. As an individual user, you'll most likely spend the majority of your time in the My Task dashboard. To start with, however, we are starting on the Group Task dashboard, where we can see that this particular team has created a number of categories to manage things such as marketing ideas, creative assets, social campaigns, email campaigns, content marketing, and campaign reviews. You can, of course, create any number of categories by clicking the Create New Category button. We're going to jump back to the All category, where we see all of the tasks that this team is responsible for. The task tiles provide a heading and subject overview of each of the tasks, as well as profile icons that show which ta team member is responsible for completing this task. For example, we can see that the comparative report on Twitter and Facebook ads results has been assigned to all three members of the team. We can click on this task tile to see more information, where we can see the heading again, as well as additional details. This allows the team to quickly and easily see that the advertising budget is currently $1,000 over for the month, and as a result, the manager is asked that they look to determine which platform is most effective for them. Team members can collaborate by commenting back and forward using the built-in comment feature, and whenever a new comment is left, an email notification is also sent. This allows your users to comment in-app or via email if they are on the go, just by hitting reply in any standard email provider. We are now going to jump over and look at the My Task dashboard. As you can see in this particular instance, it is filtered to show just the tasks that this particular user is responsible for. Again, they have the ability to filter by the various category types and can bring up any of these tasks to view more details by clicking on them. We can see in this particular instance that two test comments have also been left. Within this window, there's a couple of interesting things that the user might want to do. For example, if they need to edit any of the details of the task, they can click the Edit Task button. Alternatively, they can favorite the task, which adds it to their favorite column, and also mark the task as complete. In this particular instance, let's say that Michael Parker, our user, wants to favorite the task as this is something that he urgently needs to work on. Clicking Favorite will now add it to the Favorite Task dashboard. We can see that this has been done here. The Do Soon dashboard shows any task that is currently past its due date or due within the next 48 hours. We can currently see that this team member has to work on the new concept for the email marketing campaign urgently. Finally, we have the completed task dashboard. We can see that in this instance, this team member has marked one task as complete. Again, you can click on the task tile to view any further details associated with it. We'll now just quickly run through how to add a new task and assign it to the various members of your team. You do this by clicking the Add New button. You can then enter the task headline, and we're just going to paste in an example that we previously have, as well as further details. Again, we'll just use the heading in this instance. We can upload files from our computer, Google Drive, or Dropbox, and then select a category that is relevant for this particular campaign or task. In this instance, we'll hit Marketing Ideas. We can assign it to any number of members of our team, including yourself. Perhaps in this instance, we will assign it to all three members of the team again. The deadline buttons give you a number of quick options. For example, you can select today, which is 5 p.m. by close of business, tomorrow, 24 hours time, or choose a particular date and time. In this instance, let's select a certain date. We can select Wednesday, and perhaps we are going to select 9.30 a.m. on that day. Once we hit publish, an email notification will be sent to all those team members, notifying them that a new task has been created, and it will now show up on the task dashboard. We can see that it is here. Finally, the premium version of Task Pigeon allows a manager to switch between their own dashboard as well as members of their team. This allows them to get a much better and closer overview of what those individual members are working on, as well as see what they have favorited or currently have under their due soon column. For more, for more information on Task Pigeon, please visit our website, www.taskpigeon.co. Thanks for watching this quick demonstration, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us via the details that are listed on our website.